Hi, my name is William Block and uh, I've used numerous uh, YouTube videos in the past to help me with my do-it-yourself projects and since I was embarking on one of my own I decided I would do a video and give back to the community. I'm installing a, uh, a GE Z-Wave uh, paddle switch with a dimmer and it's this model uh, 14294 and I bought it from Amazon. I have some pictures that I took. Um, this is what the packaging looks like. And it comes with the standard fare of uh, documentation. Um, and um, unfortunately, GE doesn't seem to know about the concept of a quick start guide. So it's buried in all of this, uh, the documentation on how to actually get started. So I cropped it down to to what's important here, uh, this is the artist's conception of of your bar, of your uh, switch box, and uh, they have uh, the wires labeled. They're showing an input from the breaker box and an output to the light, um, and that's what. Uh, the artist conception looks like. Let me show you what reality looks like. Uh, I've got some photographs that I took here of um, the box that I'm working on. And let's <clears throat> take a look at this one for example. First of all, it's very common that the box you're going to want to put this in has more than one switch in it, and which is the scenario I have here. I've already wired in the, the GE switch, that's what you see on the left. But when it comes to uh, real world, things very, very rarely look like the artist's conception. They show the uh, line coming in uh, from the bottom and the load going out the top. But as you can see here, I've got four different uh, 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 Romex uh, wires coming in and um, the two on the left are associated with the switch that I'm working on. One thing you'll note, uh, I have this uh, this bundle of white wires which are referred to as the neutrals. We're not tied into either of the switches uh, and I added this uh, uh, dual uh, connection to the to the uh, neutral and I'll explain what that's all about. The second one is here going off the screen and I'm going to eventually do a second dimmer for another bank of lights in my kitchen. Uh, but why are the neutrals all bundled together and not going to the switches you might ask. And Let me go to a Word document and show you a little less elegant picture that I drew uh, in Microsoft Word using my Surface. You, the line is the uh, black wire coming from your breaker box. And all a switch is, of course, is just interrupts the circuit. And then the other black line goes to the load. And that's the reason the original switch only had two wires. It had uh, all it needed to do was break the circuit to the load, in this case, a light. And then the white wire is the neutral, which goes back to your breaker box. Um, but in the case of a smart switch, uh, it's not that simple. And the other uh, point I wanted to make here, when you look at the pictures, uh, in, the, in the graphic that the um, artist drew, they make it real obvious that the, um, that the line from the breaker box is at the bottom and out to the light is at the top, but it's rarely that simple when you get into the real world. In the uh, picture I was showing you from uh, my photographs, they're both coming out of the top and there's no easy way to know which one is going to the load and which one is coming from the breaker box. For a simple switch like I, the diagram I just showed you, it doesn't matter. You can connect either one. but uh, I've created another Word document showing why this becomes an important uh, thing to understand. Because the load uh, goes to the light, but in, this, in the case of a smart switch, uh, you're adding a new load. 
the Z-Wave uh, circuitry and the dimmer logic become another load uh, to the system. So uh, if you connect uh, the line and the load, if you get them reversed, then the switch is actually breaking the power to your circuits within the switch. And so it's important that you get that right. Now, I, uh, in the instructions, they tell you to use the wires. Uh, you know, generally a, a switch is going to be marked line and load. And so you just copy, the, take the line from the old switch and put it on the line to the new switch. But that all assumes that the electrician got it right in the first place. And since it really doesn't matter, uh, it's very likely that they may have gotten that backwards. Uh, and if, if you wire it that way, then your switch is not going to work. So I wanted to point out with a simple diagram what, what this is all about. And the reason the neutral becomes important now is because, sent, because the switch itself becomes part of the load, it has to have a return path so that it can complete its own circuit. And, uh, and with that in mind, then all you need to do uh, is something like what I did in my picture. You need to, if the if all the whites are bundled together and don't go to a switch, then you're going to have to uh, add a jumper. In the case of the of the uh, GE switch, they give you a jumper to put in that location, and then you need to get to the two black wires uh, into the correct line and load. And like I say, if you get them backwards, it won't work. So uh, you may have to reverse those. And then there's a bare wire, which is the ground wire, which is there for safety and for uh, to reduce uh, electromagnetic noise, uh, that sort of thing. And, and the most difficult part of a project like this is dealing with these, this very tight space and a large bundle of wires and, uh, and making sure that when you add your jumper that you do it in such a way that it doesn't come loose. And, um, <clears throat> and that's all there is to it. Uh, just to take it a step further, I had to pair it up with my uh, home automation, which I'm only just now starting on, by the way. Um, I'm, I'm recording this video on a Windows machine and uh, there is no uh, smart things uh, application that runs on Windows believe it or not and for that reason I'm probably going to abandon this uh, this GE and go with another product called Insteon but in a Windows box <clears throat> if you want to make it compatible with home automation you have to click on the uh, Cortana and then go to the notepad and you'll see there's something relatively new in Cortana called a connected home and out of the box right now they support Wink, Insteon, Nest, SmartThings and U. Uh, <clears throat> I've got U lights already installed and uh, the GE light I was planning on connecting to my SmartThings hub but in the future, I think I'm going to go more towards Insteon because Insteon does support support all of the platforms, and uh, <clears throat> even uh, something like Alexa, Amazon does not supply uh, an app that runs on Windows. So you're you, you really have to work around that issue if you're trying to set it up on a Windows box. What I did is I installed this BlueStacks uh, Android emulator. And I've, in, I've got the SmartThings app running that way. And I was able to uh, add my uh, GE uh, switch as kitchen lights here. So uh, that's basically it. I, uh, uh, the switch works fine. Uh, <laughs> I was able to uh, uh, pair it with the Z-Wave, uh, uh, the SmartThings Z-Wave uh, hub without any problems and uh, and like I said earlier the most difficult part is that in the real world things don't always match those uh, uh, beautiful sketches that the uh, graphic artist comes up with. So uh, appreciate you watching the video and I hope it was uh, you found it to be helpful and I welcome your feedback. Thanks.